Should you buy an eBay graphics card that's probably been used for mining? Well, I just so happen to have this one that I picked up and it is pretty good. It's actually in this system over here. So we're going to get into that because uh, this is the actual install. I'm not going to bore you with showing you how to plug a graphics card in. It's relatively simple as I would just swap that out. The old graphics card, this monster up here, uh, I actually took out because I wanted to do two graphics cards. So when I get on the desktop, I could do a one for Windows, one for Linux, and run two operating systems at the same time. And that's worked great. But there has been some problems. First things that really I need to walk you through if this is right for you, because it isn't for everyone. And there's some issues that I ran into that we need to talk about. So first up, if we look over here, you'll see that it is cheap. When I say cheap, this 5700 XT that I got was only $170. That's really quite amazing because this card was over $1,000 uh, a little over a year ago. Uh, you can see that in these charts, the retail and eBay prices were just through the roof. Retail prices were really high. eBay prices where you could actually buy the cards were even higher. Uh, so huge markups. And now it's a, literally a tenth of the price. But the first thing we need to take a look at is this picture. It's the back plate. There's a couple things that I kind of want you to look at. Uh, one, don't buy anything with stock photos. Obviously, it should be a picture of the card. Flip over the card. This is where you're going to see most damages and things to watch out for. When we're looking at it, uh, look at the screws that are holding that heat sink on because a lot of times good mining farms they'll actually take those screws off replace the thermal pads uh, probably probably do some uh, optimizations to it since it's going to be running in a hot environment the second thing is their warranty sticker if you look in the warranty sticker you'll see it on the screw itself and usually they do that if it's been missing or whatnot you know they've removed and done it in this picture you can see the warranty picture is still, it's still intact, which is kind of amazing. Uh, so that's one thing. I, either they took very careful care removing those screws to upgrade the thermal pads and then slowly put that sticker back on. Uh, most people don't do that, but if they did, it just shows, hey, they had an extreme eye to detail. So I thought that was good. The second thing on this picture, if you look really closely, you'll notice there is some, it almost looks like it's wet in parts. And that's like the smudging of thermal grease or, or that, that residue that comes off the card when it heats up. So if you see a whole bunch, it almost looks shiny and it's because it has all this residue all over it. It means it's, it's seen a lot of wear and tear. So be very careful when you see pictures with tons of it. You're still going to see some of it, like little smudges here and there. But if you see a ton of smudges, that could be a big red flag that it ran in a very, very uh, hot environment with a, a bunch of grease stains like that. Getting back to some of the big issues you might run into with these cards. The biggest one I find is not so much that they've been used and abused and, you know, they, they just don't work or they're partially fried or something. That's like obviously on the back of your mind that you have to worry about. But the biggest thing is the, the V BIOS or the actual video BIOS that comes on these. Crypto miners often, and I mean often, I mean if they run any kind of mining farm, they are changing the V BIOS. And sometimes they don't change it back before selling it on eBay. And there's a good way to check for it. So let's get on the desktop and show you that. So the very first thing you should do, pull up the spec sheet, pull up GPU Z. It's a free tool from Tech Power Up, and it is absolutely mandatory if you're going to do these mining cards. The first thing, grab your box right here, this box, match it up to what you see on the screen. If you can't match this box up to the brand, the type of card from the brand, this is a MET card from MSI, this model number, match them up exactly. Then what you do on the screen is you look for this one. Right now, this game clock, it's expected GPU clock when running typical applications. So typically, this is what you should see in the core clock. Come over to GPU clock 1815, 1815. Perfect. It's a great match. What happens with miners, a little bit behind the scenes, if you're running a mining operation, you know this, you down clock all of the base 
core clocks. So typically this will actually be less than what you would normally see. And then right next to it, the memory clock, now it doesn't show it on the spec sheet here, but typically this will be higher than the retail configuration. So this would actually probably be like around a 2000 uh, megahertz instead of the 1750 or maybe even higher depending on where the boost is. But be looking at these things, the regular GPU, make sure that matches up. If you see the boost 1925, match it up to the spec sheet from the manufacturer, uh, get it from their website. They should have something and just make sure those are correct because I ran into this. This is just something that where I pulled it up, I was like, oh, that's weird. I grabbed their BIOS uh, from Tech Power Up. They had all the BIOS listed and I was like, oh, there's my card. I grabbed their BIOS and I wanted to match it with AMD's flash utility. And I pulled it up and I was like, huh, those image sizes are drastically different and the CRCs are also very different. I was like, okay, well, that's not that big a deal. This looks like a newer revision and I couldn't find this vision or this version of my card anywhere. And I was like, okay, that's strange. And then I started looking at all those clock speeds and they were drastically different. I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. They didn't, didn't flash it. So I was gonna reflash using this tool. So when I went to program this tool up, I clicked it and sure enough, Windows Defender strikes again. And a lot of times if you are gonna flash using a Windows system, I highly discourage using Windows for this. Linux is far better for this exact purpose. It failed because Defender blocked it or UAC blocked it, one of those two from modifying the hardware, which in the normal circumstances, that's a good thing. In this circumstance, it was tragedy. Uh, so it ended up bricking the card and anytime I went to relaunch this tool, I kept getting an error message saying, hey, no valid card found. And uh, it was terrible. But luckily, I had a Linux partition and I was able to boot into Linux and then use this same AMD flash utility and do what's called a force flash. This was amazing to have that capabilities. You don't have to necessarily install Linux if you get in this problem like I did. Uh, just download like Linux Mint. They have a great live environment. You could have done the same thing and just used that tool inside of Linux and it would more up to date and you had more options where you could force flash stuff. Even if it wasn't red, you go, okay, that's my card on that PCIe um, slot and then just go for it. So that was a, a, that was a really interesting experience. One that I really hope that many people can stay away from. Um, and if you get into these mining cards, these are some cautious tales. I would say out of all the mining cards I bought, most times they were all pretty good because of all those flags I talked about in this video and I avoided them. But the times I did run into problems or just random blue screens or just funky performance, a lot of times it was using a custom BIOS and required this reflashing process. If you really wanna stay away from it, don't buy a video card off of eBay because right now they are so cheap. So with that, let me know your guys' experience down in the comments below. Are you going to buy a mining card? Because they're crazy cheap right now. If you are, good luck. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.